Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I want to take time out of my schedule to say hello uh, and also to uh, thank my subscribers. I have like 12, 13 who just started this channel. Um, I got a lot of friends that uh, run channels and uh, lead interesting lives. And, uh, you know, for a long time I want to do this as a, as a passion project amongst um, many of my other passion projects. I do a little bit of photography and so on, and deal with uh, many different forms of, in the art community, uh, metal, art, or, uh, I don't know, a um, little bit of the steampunk stuff, uh, play a little electric guitar, um, I don't know, lately I got into hot rods, as you can see, I got my girl Christine here with me, uh, it's a little bit hot, it's getting right humid in central Missouri. Get ready rain and thunderstorms coming in um but yeah i just wanted to um you know it's been a long hard work day and uh I, i'm a pretty busy man i'm rebuilding the home remodeling and uh do a little bit of farm work you know not a whole lot to brag about on that um but figured i'd tell you all about myself my upcoming channel um and, you know, just about my life, my story, and my journey. And I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, supporting my journey. Um, this channel is not monetized, so my, this is uh, all done out of pocket. You know, um, I don't receive any donations or money or anything like that. Hell, I probably wouldn't turn some. I don't turn anything down. Somebody wants to send me a free engine block or something for my truck or, you know, anything like that, all right? Three ninety nine is my favorite price, anyhow. So, but now I, I don't do that begging or nothing else with donations and shit. But uh, you know, I don't know. I'm on some country boy shit out here. Um, I don't know. I've lived lived life on the streets, lived life in the country, lived life in the city, lived life in the military. You know, did a year over in combat, combat MOS, eleven Bravo, eleven Bang Bang. You know. All my brothers out there that got that CIB or rocking that blue cord, what's up to you? Um, you know, uh, I ain't gonna talk on that a whole lot because there's a lot of um, stolen valor out there. And, you know, either you did it, you did it, or you didn't, you didn't. You know, all talking about it, man, the quiet ones are the ones you gotta worry about anyhow, so. I don't know, out here. Drinking on some peach tea. Then we're gonna go getting that air conditioning. It's about the end of the day. Gotta uh, take my bike up to the Harley shop. Get its uh, 1,000 miles done. I don't know. I picked up one of these new ones. I don't, I'm not a big fan of these new bikes. I'm about to uh, go get my old bike um, fixed. Um, probably by Dragon Man. So if you watch this, Dragon Man, what's up out there in Colorado? He's a machine gun enthusiast, you know, God bless him, the Second, second Amendment people. Appreciate y'all for, uh, you know, defending our, our rights as Americans, you know. Thing is, uh, rights are, he said, exercise your rights um, for a reason, because, uh, you know, it's like the human body. You know, um, you exercise them, you get to keep them, you get to use them. If you don't exercise them, you know, I, I, I open carry. Uh, I open carry pistol every day. If not two of them. I even take a shower with them sometimes. Yep. So, uh, anyhow, I'm a little bit weird, but it's my right. Anyhow, um, but yeah, I want to thank uh, all the Second Amendment people out there. You know, all the First Amendment people out there, you know. Everybody protesting, you know, whatever. You know, that's your right, you know, and I support, you know. I, I went, picked up a, I, I went in the recruiter's office, signed a piece of paper, told them, Pick up a rifle and put me on the front line of combat. Defend our righteous Americans against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. You know, uh, that includes our government at times. George Washington said that. Um, you know, so, anywho, I ain't with this Democrat or Republican nonsense. I'm against the two-party system anyway. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm in what, what I call the, the third party. I'm a patriot. You know, I, I believe in America, uh, American dream. It's an idea. It's not a place. You know, um, 
that it's the idea that you can work your ass off, build a better life, and come home, drink a six pack, maybe take your one hitter, and uh, have a peaceful life. Don't bother nobody. So anyhow, that dream's starting to disappear here in America, but that's a whole nother subject. Uh, I don't know. I, I hold a lot of views. <clears throat> I try to keep them myself, but if I do share them, then again, like uh, unlike other people, I'm open to other people's opinions. Um, I can see outside my own box. Um, I encourage y'all to comment, like, and subscribe, of course. That'd be great. I encourage y'all to comment um, and share your opinion, you know. Uh, I'm an open Christian. Good time as a uh, minister, believe it or not. Yep, Gary Pistol. Um, but uh, my beliefs, I can, I, I can share them as in a belief, not as a fact, um, as a spiritual belief. I can also respect other people's beliefs. Uh, I was really good friends with um, a political figure, one of the, one of the sheiks from one of the Muslim sheiks from the Chicago area. So, you know, um, you know, he's a really good friend of mine. I was friends with uh, the Iraqi sergeant major over in uh, near Baghdad. So, you know, um, I had people send him shoes for his children. You know, his I don't know, 18 children. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, Stand firm on the original beliefs and principles this country was founded on, on a United States, not a divided state. What does it say? Uh, together, uh, you know, united we stand, divided we fall. Uh, that was uh, both a, a warning, you know, and a, uh, it wasn't just a, just a bumper sticker, like people live on their shit, stuff around here today, like Forrest Gump, you know, shit happens. You know, yeah, I don't live my life on bumper stickers, but uh, that's real stuff, you know. I hope this divided country can come back together, and I pray that it does. Um, I'm not racist uh, at all. I'm a little bit country, a little bit city, a little bit of everything. Rock and roll, rap, all that stuff. So, anyhow. Oh, back on the channel things to come all right um i dabble and uh do a lot of stuff i live a very ver diverse life again it's more about my myself and my channel um i did about two years of amateur bodybuilding which i haven't right now you know my body's in decent shape especially for being in my mid to late 30s uh -huh. um but i've been remodeling for a year i had to stop because it's hard to build a home and build a life and dedicate fully, you know, I'm an all or none kind of guy. So, my remodel's close to being finished. You know, I guess I'm building kind of like a redneck paradise out here. Looking good. It's going to be a sight to be seen. Um, picking up the hot tub probably tomorrow or the next day. So, anyhow, uh, that'll be on video. So, anyhow, but yeah, I'm get back into bodybuilding. So, there'll be some of that on here. Uh, I did it with professionals, although I did it at an amateur level. But I'm all or none kind of guy, like I said. I like to uh, dedicate 100% into something, you know. And when, when I do bodybuilding, body sculpting, and uh, things of that nature, you know, I, I like to do two a days. Calisthenics in the morning, which includes a thousand push ups, um, 10 sets of pull ups, 10 sets of dips at the bare minimum. And then going in the gym, hitting them, uh, you know, getting your hands on some weight at night. And go get that money, is what we call it. And, you know, we'll put some of that in there. I'm involved with a lot of local business community or whatnot, which uh, is a very diverse crowd, which uh, they lead individually exciting lives themselves. Uh, and, you know, I'm involved with them quite often. A lot of them are family and friends. Um, one of them is uh, the Off-Road Park out here, Phillip's. Uh, well, they call it Vandy's Off-Road Park. Phillip Van Luke is the uh, owner and proprietor and uh, owner proprietor him and his family and uh, they're a real good set of people um, you'd be hard pressed to find anybody else like them in the world uh, the hospitality out there is amazing there's been many times i brought stacks of meat or boxes of chicken uh, to eat myself or share with others and you know somebody else philip if not someone else that, that a visitor 
They already brought their own, their own, cooked it, and you got leftovers. We try to feed you their food before you can even cook your food. You know, it ain't just not food. You know, it, it's the best off-road park in tri tri-state area, I believe. Um, you know, it's one of the only ones with a shop available where if you break down, oh yeah, show up off-road and your first 15 minutes could be your last 15 minutes and you go home and break down. You ain't got shop tools available to fix your vehicle and you're 150 miles from your house. Um, that's a game, that's a game ender, not a game changer. So, but have, what is a game changer is having hospitable people, you know, access to a welder, torch, tools so on and so forth. And the knowledge know how to help you out and get you back on the road, get you back to four and have a fun time drinking beer with your family and friends. So uh, yeah, that's one of, one of the places I plan on um, taking y'all on this channel. I've already done it, done it once or twice out there. You know, I'm big on Vandy, love it. They're, they're a good family, um, you know. So uh, we'll be doing some more of that always, you know, every other weekend. I'm doing a uh, doing the calendar. I think that I'm gonna print off this month. It was supposed to was supposed to come out Memorial Day, but it got pushed off because of oh this big old virus thing that it's 99% survival rating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to hear my feelings on that yet. So anyhow, stay safe, wear your mask, especially at Walmart where they don't stock much. So um, anyhow, yeah, I'm a little outspoken. But that's me. I am what I am. I ain't changing that for nothing. You know, make sure you leave a comment. So, another one I'm going to uh, talk to, see if he wants in on this. My buddy Ben. He um, owns a business around here. Does, I, you know, I don't know how active he is in it anymore, but he's still active in the base community or whatnot. He does uh, um, build a lot of systems. He built my system. I'll show it to you sometime. Now that I went and got. Oh, this, hey, look, this is my gift back to y'all. Went out, got legit today. I'm gonna hold it right, like Vanna White. Mm -hmm. um, went out and got the GoPro 8. You gotta get the biggest and best because uh, all my videos so far, you know, sound pretty much sucking. Uh, you know, wind, all that good stuff. So we gotta get, I didn't get the bundle back because they didn't have it because the scary ass virus again. Um, so anyhow, get the bundle pack for this. Shoot, it's got a dog set up, a wrist set up, chest set up. I get in shooting, all that stuff. But yeah, back on the stereos. Yeah, I should probably move around. Back on the stereo systems. I'll be able to show you my system. I got a competition system in my truck. Um, it took a hit, you know, because uh, my first one. So, well, I'm gonna get it dialed back in there. My my system, my system hurt hurting. Okay, at even running at 10 or 20 percent of what I want to run it at will still knock your dick in the dirt. You know, you're welcome to pull up your system unless you're on uh, unless you're on one of the sound teams around here that my buddy runs. Uh, anyhow, we'll show you some real stuff, some professional grade uh, stereo system. You want to get legit? You hit my buddies up, and I'll be sure to plug them. You know, I support local business. You know, support uh, Zach's business and. In town, I got to get back with them up there at, uh, you know, his fitness center, Fulton Fitness. You know, they're good folks too. You know, like I said, be sure to walk you in the door up there. Uh, I used to do a little bit of training myself, you know, because it takes a lot of time, effort, knowledge to get into um, that level of physical fitness. Um, you know, it takes, I ain't even going to get into it, you know, nutrition, rest. You gotta have the drive, dedication. You know, a good man does that stuff around here is Chris Pittman. You know, shout out to you, Chris. Uh, he, he's one of my damn heroes on the fitness level. He's got that drive and dedication. He runs a, a fitness program here in town or whatnot, trains people, and he's probably the most legit man you can get with. So if you want to get, uh, you want to get in it, you want to get some money. It waits is what that means. You know, get your body together, get some money. You know. A sexy body, fitness, whatever you're looking for, conditioning, many levels of fitness, uh, weight loss, whatever, whatever you want to do, you know that man will be able to walk you through it and, and go on that journey with you. He's a good man, so you know I don't mind, like I said, supporting local talent, um, especially with 
this government shutting down everything on and off and on and off. So let's not get on. Oh, oh man, yeah. I, I try not to get on it, cause, but it's frustrating. We all have to live. We all have to live. You know, this economy was one of the best ones. Was, oh man, I shouldn't even go. I, I'm just stopping. Back on the uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get on a rant or tie. Ty- ty- yeah, I'm trying not to. So anyhow, oh, this is my car, Christine, 2000. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, 1980 Corvette Stingray T tops. Oh, I turned it over last year. I ain't never been in love with the car before, but yes, ladies, it is possible. Fell in love with this one and realized it when they were looking to total it out, and I bought it back. So, um, anyhow, it's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of fiberglass damage. It, oh, it still runs like a top. <laughs> um, but you know anything about me in this car? I wouldn't drive it if there was one speck of dirt on it out in town because it had a reputation. She had a reputation to uphold. So uh, even if you were the most beautiful woman in the world, I'd make you sit sit and sweat in the hot sun. You'd like it? Nah, not really. But uh, and watch me wash my car before we go for a ride, just because I can drive dirty as t- you know. This thing's cherry, brand new motor in it, yeah, brand new. So anyhow, do a little bit of work on this old girl. Get her back on the road. I got a classic. Um, I got a classic motorcycle inside. Yeah, park my bikes inside. I mean, they sleep inside with me, where they're safe, where they're protected. Um, got an arm guard at all times. Don't worry about that. And um, get my um, my classic um, Heritage Classic on the road. Um, I think we're getting her motor board out, go bigger and better. She's got some badass bikes on her, sexy old bikes, them, them old bikes. Yeah, that's what it's at. I got me a new one. Uh, she's fast. The new ones are fast. I'm talking about as far as, uh, just that feeling a bike gives you. That new one ain't got it yet. Um, you can put that stage three kit on that new one, some, some ape hangers and, uh, a tail dragger rear end. I'm probably going with that, uh. I got different style and people around here, you know. I, I sound real country. I got a really bad southern draw. Actually, my uh, my accent changes depending on which environment I am, and I'm a pretty fluid individual. I mess with people from all over: gangster world, country world, business world, military world. You name it, I'm in there. Um, you know, and I got people of all types. Not not what you know, it's who you know in life. So. Um, but yeah, you can get some of that stuff in here. I'm also in a lot of D, uh, DIY, whatever, do-it-yourself stuff. You know, I was a carpenter before I went to the military. Before I was out there running on the streets. Uh, you know, so I'm working on a koi fish pond right now. Oh, remodeling the kitchen right now. We put a pool table in last um, January. Um, did a custom pool table, black felt, custom woodwork all the way around it. I do a my specialized in that Japanese torched wood technique where you take a torch down a roof and torch down torch and set that wood on fire. Every other grain turns black, every other grain stays white, and then you stain and seal it. Uh, you know my favorite is a redwood. Um, I'm a big lover of animals or whatnot. We got some Rottweilers out here. Eat your ass, boys. Come on out. Um, and then, uh, I don't know. I guess one of them's pregnant in the back. She got to have some puppies or whatnot. So, you know, ladies, you want some some cute little Rottweiler puppies. These things are really good with, with kids. Really protective of them. You know, really protective of women. You know, so that's always a good thing. I ain't trying to sell nothing out here or whatnot, you know, so... I don't know. I, I ain't trying to make money off nobody. Like I said, I just do this as a passion project. Many people around this area are way too interested in my life anyhow sometimes, or so it seems. I'm not talking to about any of y'all that are my friends out here, my friends on any of these groups. I'm talking about, I don't know, everybody got haters. 
you know, I ain't nobody. I ain't nothing, nothing special, you know, I got me own car, and you know, whatever, you know, and stuff, but it's America, man. This ain't that white privilege bullshit, ain't nobody, man, my family grew up on concrete floors eating uh, powdered eggs and goat's milk. Nine kids, one working adult, and the other one had to babysit after kids six and seven, eating, you know, whatever. We didn't have no handouts, neither, no government assistance. So, you know, there ain't, you know, I was a poor kid, had to get a job at age 15. But look at me now. I ain't rich. I've lost everything in life, you know, but it's about picking back up, pick your pieces back. Why do we fall? So we can learn how to pick ourselves back up. You know, I'm sleeping in a car at age 15. You know, homeless. Sign up for the army. So I didn't have to go trap on the streets or whatever. So anyhow, ain't nothing that's been given to me. I ain't nothing. I ain't rich. But I, I do live an interesting, diverse lifestyle. I've got respect and love for all communities, all races, all sexes, all sexual identities. Man, I ain't judgmental on nothing. The only one to judge you is God. I ain't, I ain't here to judge nobody. I ain't nobody special. So, you know, God bless you all. And you'll hear me say that often. You know, God bless you. Because uh, life's a journey. Life's a journey. And, um, you know, God bless your journey. I'm just hoping that you, my viewing, viewing audience, um, we can share some of it together. Like I said, I'm outspoken, but, you know, I'm a like me, love me, or hate me kind of guy, anyhow, you know, either you like me, you love me, you hate me, but, uh, you know, it don't affect my feelings whatsoever. I don't care what the world thinks about me, because, uh, I ain't here to impress nobody. I ain't, um, like I said, do this as a side project just because, uh, mainly to document my travels and what I do. You know, I plan on hopefully traveling the world this next year. I don't know. Uh, I was cast for, oh, what's that show you ladies watch? I was cast to be on, uh, oh, 90 Day Fiance. Mm hmm. Yep, got the paperwork inside. Produ producers were big on trying to get me on there because I was. And on one of these Facebook groups and met me a young little Filipina girl. She was real. She didn't have a penis. Yeah, I know. Yeah, anyhow, she was legit. I don't know. Things didn't work out between me and her family. I'm sorry for you, girl. I'm sure you're watching. I'm sure your handlers or your people are watching or whatever. Uncles, cousins, who cares? You know, God bless you guys, too. I know you're Christian. And I know, um, you know, I got a lot of friends over there that that vlog as well. So, you know, um, I got families over there. I thought about doing it myself or doing it part-time. But uh, life on them streets is tough. I said, I lived on the streets over here. And I know you guys got to do what you got to do to survive. So I don't judge, you know. You got to do what you got to do to support them babies. You know, that's what a mother's going to do as well. You know, it's one of the hardest, you know, unsung heroes, I believe, and I know, in this world, are the single mothers. Because they got to be a mother, a father, a caregiver, a nurse, a breadwinner, got to pay the rent, got to counsel the kids, got to turn a son into a man, a girl into a woman, you know, they got... 110 different jobs and they're doing it alone. But, anywho, yeah. I got wrapped up in getting myself a foreign bride because I'm not too, excuse me, getting a drink. Not too enthused with American women anyhow or just society. Um, you ask me, Facebook, or amongst many other things, has uh, ruined this culture, or, you know, slowly, steadily. 
hell, just in the last year or two, every girl out there has got to send me money on pretty page. You know, oh yeah, I'm trying to bring that home to mama on Thanksgiving. Be like, yeah, sit down on Thanksgiving meal. Oh, by the way, this is my girlfriend that's got to send me money on pretty page at um, Dirty Old Man Center Money for, uh, you know, in exchange for painting pictures and the like. Yeah, I'm going to walk that down the aisle, put a ring on that. I swear before God and all my community. And, uh, yeah, so I got it in my head that I was going to oh, find a girl from a different culture that, uh, w that, um, still follows or believes in some of the same morals, beliefs, you know, honor, duty, respect, Christian, um, family, you know, stuff like that. And the Philippine culture did reflect that. You hear that wind blowing in? Oh, man, I got my hand over the microphone. I'll probably fuck this whole video off. You hear that wind blowing in? That's that storm. We'll talk a little bit longer. Um, like I said, I get in four wheeling, motorcycles, electric guitar, the blues, physical fitness, modeling. You're trying to go back in there. I got a job offer from uh, one of the best photographers in the world, as well as photography. Got my own photo sessions. Y'all uh, ladies interested in doing model work or whatnot? Uh, we do that. We got photo shoots. We had him lined up for uh, his off-road photo shoot, and then that virus hit, and one girl had, oh, uh, low tolerance on stuff, you know, on getting, you know, on immune systems, so on and so forth, so she got scared, and all of the girls got scared, so we just did the photo shoot without her, but I'm getting ready to print that this month, I think we're, what, two months behind on printing that calendar, but... Folks out there at Vandy's, you know I'm still working hard, and I'm always going to work hard. And I don't want mo no money to do it. I said we are going to sell that calendar, but any proceeds are going to go towards the Wounded Warrior Project, as well as Vandy's Off-Road Park for maintenance costs associated with running that park because the park don't run itself. It takes a lot to maintain. Bill just a couple days ago was talking about getting a bobcat and getting a, getting a, um, oh, a, a backhoe and hollering out from the center of them, uh, them, them holes out there so people ain't high centering so much because the tires ain't hitting the bottom of them sometimes too. People keep going and going and going through the same rut, same rut, same rut, digging them deeper and deeper and deeper. And then you got a nice ass truck like like Chris. You check my other, most of you, apparently what Chris has told me, most of you uh, video on my page, um, him and his new truck. Oh, man, I can't say the name. It's, it's a Chevrolet Toyota on top. I think it's a Shavoda is what, what they call it. Yeah, check that video out. Um, I don't know. It was a good couple videos. Just went and seen him last night on that truck. Uh, gave him gave him a military tow strap or whatever, it was a steel cable tow tow strap for for the tanks and Bradleys and Humvees. You know, in case he gets uh, too deep. Gave him a set of jumper tables too, because you know I'm always willing to donate to the cause. Because uh, that's one man that will help you out. He get your shirt off his back to help you out mechanically. You know, anything. Good man. Anyhow, other areas we're gonna jump in now of our uh, tattoos. You can see, I got my work. I got about 86 hours under the drill. I like to design them, draw. I don't get uh, I don't get behind the drill. I ain't never done it. And no, don't care to. I ain't trying to mess around. Get in the, you know, I'm cool. I'm cool. You know, got out there. Got my blood work all done. We, we good. We good. We good out here. So, uh, but yeah, uh, we will get into that. You know, I got a lot of friends that tattoo and do artwork or whatnot. We can definitely support them fine folks. We're going to show you some good ink out here. Uh, we're going to go to some bike, you know, some bike rallies, so on and so forth. And bike season's almost over. That's okay. Um, 
I don't know, like I said, I just wanted to um, touch you folks up, touch base with you folks. You know, my subscribers, thank you. Like I said, show you that uh, as a uh, as a thank you for subscribing. Make sure y'all, you know, make sure I get legit. Be able to share better content. I'm gonna mount this bad boy on my motorcycle. It's got a 360 degree view. I'm talking about strapping a freaking selfie stick four foot in front of my motorcycle. I've seen it done. Yep. Three, four foot in front of my motorcycle. That way you can get a view of what I'm watching. And then you can turn around and look right back at me. Yeah, I know. That happens. Anyway. Um, but yeah. You know, I always get at least some interesting stuff. We're going to shoot some stuff. Hell, you know, we got, we're got going to have some bonfires, bonfire and bike rides. We might have some photo shoots, bikini shoots, horse riding, bike riding, four wheeling. Hell, we might throw a slip and slide in that some bitch barbecue. So, uh, you know, come on back, see us, like, hit that button, man. Um, let's get this started. Hit that button. Send a send my link to a friend. You know, um, it's gonna get good. Nothing but good things from here on out. So, God bless y'all. God bless your journey. Have a great day. This is Max signing out.